Just when I thought I was done with Al Pacino movies, they pull me back in. What's up, friends? Gonna be checking out Scarface today, bringing back Al Pacino. Finally, been on the channel a lot early on. It's been a minute since we've seen one of his films, though, so I'm excited to check this one out. I think the only thing I know from this movie is the say hello to my little friend moment and I'm not even 100% sure if it is from this movie. I think so, but I know that he just becomes a drug lord or maybe he already is a drug lord in this. And so I don't know if we're going to get the more acting juggernaut Pacino or the over the top wild Pacino in this movie. It's a toss up sometimes which one you get, but looking forward to it and hopefully you all enjoy watching along with me for this one. If you do, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video reach a lot more people. Helps the channel grow and of course you can check out the full-length reaction on my patreon link for that in the description below of course you'll need your own copy of the film to watch along with me there but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into Scarface I don't know what big names are attached to the oh there you go Brian De Palma okay I was about to say I don't know anyone else attached to this movie besides Al Pacino Como se llama? Antonio Montana and you? What you call yourself? Where'd you learn to speak the English, Tony? And my father, he was uh, from the United States. I like his accent so far, man. Playing a bit of a different character than I'm used to. He's got a cool look, though. His scar is pretty gnarly. Get him out of here. Come on. Please. Let me talk to him, my man. You a communist? How do you like it? They tell you all the time what to do, what to think. Do you want to be like a cheap? Da, da. I don't have to oh. listen to this. <laughs> Always gotta have some interesting sounds coming from him in his movies. The acting is good though so far. Send this bastard to Freedom Town. Let them take a look at him. Get, Get him out of here. No something. There's nothing you can do to me. That Castro has not already done. Get him out of here. Kind of wild seeing him in this state. So obviously he rises up to the top of the food chain just based off what I know. Guy named Rebenga, man. Castro just sprung him. He tortured a few guys to death. And one of the guy's brother is a rich guy in Miami now. And he wants the favor he paid. That's where we come in. Shoot, man, I'm not sure. I like this plan. Feels a bit risky dealing with someone that high up or who used to be that high up. Oh, this is a dead man right here. He's not getting out of here. That's bold to give away your position. Just taunt him. I had a feeling that was gonna happen as soon as he opened that door. It was a clean kill right there. No one's gonna suspect a thing. That was a cool shot right there. So because they did that, does that mean they're gonna get even more jobs like that? I got something for you. Get on a little boat. Marijuana, 25 tons. You get 500 each. Who do you think we are? Baggage handlers? Going raid right on a boat is a thousand a name. <laughs> Jeez, he doesn't hold back just going in on him. Man's got pride, gotta respect it. All right, big man, you wanna make some big bucks. You know something about cocaine? It's a bunch of Colombians. They say they got two keys for us. I want you to go over there. You do that, you got five grand. Oh, there you go, man. It paid off his attitude. Unless there's something more to this that they aren't telling him. Money stays in the trunk till I come out. I'm not out in 15 minutes. Something's wrong. You ready? Sure, thank you. I feel like it's got to go right in order for Al Pacino to move up, or I mean Tony Montana to move up. I love the way this is being filmed right now. Feels very suspenseful, no music or anything, just hear the waves. Am I leaving the door open so as my brother knows everything is okay? Sure, no problem. I'm starting to get more nervous as this goes on. Maybe something will go terribly wrong. Where'd you have your stuff? Not far. Oh my gosh, dude. They're so distracted right now. If anything goes wrong, they're not going to be ready to come help. I, uh, I just want to get to know who I do business with. You're gonna get to know me when you start doing business with me. Oh my gosh, dude. That was such a clever way to shoot that. Dang it, it is going bad. Yes, I'm still from the UK. Yeah? You want to give me the cash? Or do I kill your brother first? Oh man, did those people plan this? They just wanted to rob him and kick him to the curb? So we have room. No way, bro. This is messed up if they just slice him up in front of him. And the two dudes in the car have no idea what's going on. Watch what happened to your friend. Oh, 
gosh, dude, that's brutal. They actually are going in on him. I thought he was gonna stop him just in time. You can die too, it makes no difference to me. Yes, bro, let's go. Man came in here claiming bodies. Not a second too late. Oh gosh, I did not realize there was gonna be some stairs right there. I thought he was falling to the ground. You okay? Yeah, man. When in out. Take him out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Chichi, get the Yale. Está bien. I think I may finally have recognized the other dude there in the purple shirt. It was taking me a while because he looked younger than what I thought I recognized him as. Is that Don Eladio from Breaking Bad? Wow, bro, no hesitation, gunned him down in the middle of the street. You still got the money? Yeah, and I got the yayo. Bring it here. I ain't taking it to look past my son. Now you, me. <laughs> I think he earned that, man, after what he just went through. That's definitely gonna be one way to make a good impression, man. Omar, he tells me great things about you guys. Not to mention, of course, the nice job you did for me. That was fucked. That was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez, he's gonna move up the ladder quick with comments like that. Man's got style like crazy, though. That's a nice suit and shirt combo. You're gonna find you stay loyal in this business. You're gonna move up. You're gonna move up fast. Shut up. You can move down fast just as easily because that loyalty can betray you pretty quickly. Oh, he's finally paying close attention to a woman. Felt like every time Manny was pointing someone out, he was not interested. Is this Frank's wife, though? Where are we having dinner? I thought we'd go to the Babylon Club. If anyone ever wanted to assassinate you, you wouldn't be too hard to find. Who the hell would want to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling that a lot of people want to kill him. Even his wife, based off her attitude around him so far. Does Nacho Contreras el gordo. He's got more cash than anybody in this place. He's a real hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez, Frank seems like an absolute handful. I don't know if Tony's enjoying himself. Lesson number one. Don't underestimate the other guy's greed. <laughs> Lesson number two. Don't get high on your own supply. Oh, getting some valuable life lessons right here. For some reason, I think he's going to break both of those rules right there. So you want to dance, Frank, or you want to sit here and have a heart attack? I think I want to have a heart attack instead. <laughs> How about you? You want me to dance? Yeah, sure, go on, Tony, you dance. <laughs> Oh man, I think that's exactly what he wants. I don't think Frank realizes the feelings he probably has for her now. What's your name? Elvira Watts. Hancock. You sound like a bird. Hancock. Flying around. <laughs> if he's trying to impress her, he's not doing a great job so far. Just making fun of her name. I'm just trying to be friendly, you know? I have enough friends, I don't need another one. Especially when I just got off a banana boat. You got the wrong guy here. I don't come off no banana boat. You're thinking of someone else, maybe. Oh gosh, I'm worried if he gets pissed off. Maybe she's not super nice after all. On a desert island, you'd be the last thing I'd ever... A chick is with. She like me. <laughs> Great cut right there. That's not what I thought he was gonna say. Maybe he's just playing the long game right now. Mama. Antonio. Long time. Whoa, I did not realize that she was here the whole time. That's wild. That's cool that he went to see her then. Gina. Tony? Hey, you're beautiful. Oh, mama, look at those eyes, huh? I'm guessing this is his sister. I wonder if they were always here, if they just recently got here, or how it worked out. It's nothing much. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's beautiful, Tony. Oh, she does not look too happy right now. Does she suspect that he got involved in some shady business? Maybe he's fallen back into some habits that she saw him in before. What are you doing now? Banks? Or is it still bodegas? You and the others? No. Things are different. I get a lot of political contributions. Sure you do. <laughs> She's not buying it one bit. The longer the film goes on, the more I'm loving Al Pacino's performance, though. He seems so into this role, like he's just a different person. It's Cubans like you who are giving a bad name to our people. What are you saying? That's your son! Son! I wish I had one. 
He's a bum. Whoa, man. She's going in on him. Holy crap. I don't know what you're talking about. No, that's not the way I am, Antonio. That is not the way I raised Gina to be. You are not going to destroy her. <laughs> Dang, man, this actress is excellent. Holy, did not expect that kind of reception for him here. How are you doing? No, Tony, you please. Need? You don't tell her anything, but give us some from time to time. Go ahead, go ahead, have to do some things. Have some fun. I do like that he is using the money to help out his family, though. That is a good thing. She's beautiful. How come you... Hey! Stay away from her. <laughs> Oh, jeez, switch tones on a dime right there. Man's put up with Manny's antics enough. Not when it comes to his sister, though. What I'm looking for is somebody in the States who can share the risk with me. Somebody who can guarantee to buy from me, say, 150 kilos a month. Holy crap, dude. Tony's look has changed so much in just a little while. Dude's looking like a million bucks. You guarantee your delivery, say, as far as Panama. We take it from there. Panama, I can sell for 13.5 a key. What are you, nuts? <laughs> Dude, I love that Tony just always says what's on his mind. Not afraid of confrontation. Forget about 13.5. What do you suggest that is reasonable? Excuse me. Why did that shot need to be so dang creepy with the music as well? What the heck? It's not going to be a bad news type of call, is it? Wait till you get back. Your head is in the wrong place. You have to watch out for yourself. Why don't you talk to him about it? You think he wants to give you the money to spend? Oh gosh, I love the camera work right there. It's so tense. They're not gonna start attacking them or something, are they? What was the phone call about? I'm doing the talking here. Wait, bro, in that last shot, I feel like I just recognized that guy. That wasn't Hector from Breaking Bad, is it? Vince Gilligan must really like Scarface if that is the case. As soon as I get back to Miami, I will talk to Frank. Personally, associates here can escort you to my chopper. Can have you in Miami in five hours. <laughs> Dude, that freaking is Hector. That's so wild. He looks so much younger and smaller here. But I'm kind of worried. I don't think this is just going to be a normal ride. Omar Suarez. His garbage was recognized by my associate at lunch. He was an informer for the police. Oh, what? Dude, I did not expect that. No wonder I got bad vibes. Oh my gosh, dude, that's such a brutal way to die. Guess that answers why they brought him up there alone. All I have in this world is my balls and my word. And I don't break them for no one. Do you want to go on with me? Do say it. You don't. You make a move. I think you speak from the heart. Let's go, man. Building trust once again with the higher ups. This man's attitude paying off big time. You made a deal without even checking with me. At 10 5, a key. It's Puro. We make 75 million on this deal, Frank. Whoa, that is some major cash right there, holy. And that definitely is a lot cheaper than what he was offering originally, so his communication skills are good. What about Gaspar Gomez? What is he gonna do when you start moving 2,000 kids? Gaspar Gomez, I buried those cockroaches. What do they ever do for us? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what an explosion right there. That was great. Better listen up when the Godfather speaks like that. Remember I told you when you started, the guys who last in this business, the guys who fly straight, the guys who want it all, they don't last. You finished? <laughs> what a great line right there. Just completely disregarding everything he said. I think Tony's going to try and prove him wrong there and last well wanting it all. I heard you and Frank aren't working together anymore. That's right. I think it's decent, don't you? Shoot, man, that's news to me. I mean, tensions were high in their last conversation, so maybe it just ended right there. But I thought he was still going to work for him for a little bit. I like you. I like you the first time. I like I say, I want you to marry me. I want you to be the mother of my children. Holy man, just skipping everything, going straight to marriage. I thought he was just gonna ask to like be in a relationship with her or something. What are you gonna do about Frank? Frank is not gonna last, okay? Just think, I want you to really think about it, okay? I go now. Well, she didn't straight up refuse, so I guess there's a possibility, and I don't think she really likes Frank that much, and she can probably see that Tony's going places. She doing it. Go on, man. Come on, come on. She's just dancing. Come on. Oh, his sister, gosh, he does not want her involved with this crowd. I love that music. 
Hello, Tony. Oh, you remember me? Bursting. Mel Bursting. Chief Detective Narcotics. Wait, bro, is that buddy from Ozark? What a boss. There's way more recognizable faces in this than I expected. And they're all so much younger than what I'm used to. Okay, how much? This is how much. Big number. Yeah. It's on a monthly basis. Oh, he's in the big leagues now. I like that they didn't show us the exact number either. We just hear him say big number. You gotta smile more, Tony. Every day above ground is a good day. <laughs> I don't think he has time to smile. Man is on a mission 100% of the time. I wonder if she's thought any more about his proposition. Such a pleasure, old girl. That's what I'm doing. I'll go do it somewhere else. Well, get lost. Right. Maybe I don't hear so good sometimes. You're not going to be hearing anything if you like this. Why? Wow. You're going to do something? <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, he is causing so many issues right now, specifically with Frank. He put that prick Bernstein on me. How do you know this man? Who else knew about Rebecca? He's fertilized. He's letting me know he's got weight on me. Oh man, I didn't even consider that. There's so many different strings that are being pulled. Hard to keep track of everybody. Oh gosh, dude, the camera work, this man's gonna explode. I have a feeling that man's gonna die, whoever's with his sister. That music was spooky. <laughs> Gosh, this is gonna be stressful. Are we finally gonna see him fully unleashed? You can't tell me what to do! I'm telling you what to do! Listen to me, listen to me! I got you here again. I'm gonna wipe you all over the Oh, yeah. Go ahead, do it now. I want to see it. Oh my gosh, dude. So interesting contrasting this when he was at his mom's house before. Now he's doing exactly what she was doing to him. Oh man, what a great shot right there. Man has everything he could have wanted, or at least that he initially wanted now, but he looks pretty miserable compared to everybody else laughing. Shoot, bro, who are those two? I don't think I recognize them, but the music is telling me that they're bad news. He still treats me like I'm a baby. I'm 20 years old now. Put yourself in his place, okay? He feels like he has to protect you. Protect you know? me against what? Against guys like that asshole that you were dancing with. I mean, I won't disagree. That guy probably wasn't the best dude to begin with, and I can understand why Tony wants to keep her out of that life. You gotta look around and go out with somebody who's, who's got something on the ball, who's going somewhere in life. Doctor, uh, what about a you? lawyer. What are you talking about? Oh no, man, this can't go in this direction because Tony's gonna lose it. But I don't know if Manny could resist if she came on to him. Holy crap. Man, that got insane so fast. I don't know if he took any bullets, but I know Tony's okay. Oh, thank goodness, he's a good shot. Got both of them right there. This life isn't all it's talked up to be when you have to dodge bullets like that. What was the score? Three to two. Ha! My little team, the little old buzzards, they won the division tonight. Yeah, that's great. Congratulations. <laughs> He has no idea they're in here, gosh. And the other dude is here as well, so kill two birds with one stone. Tony, what happened to you? They want to spoil my $800 suit. I bet it was the Diaz brothers. They got beef going back to the sun right <laughs> Oh, Frank thinks he can negotiate right now. He's already dead as soon as he walked in here, Tony. Do you know what a hasha is, Frank? That's a pig. The dog flies straight. Neither do you. I gave you your start. I was the one who believed in you. I stay loyal to you. He's got a point there, except when it comes to Elvira. He was trying to take her away from him. Please give me a second chance, not Tony. You do that. Now oh, begging like a coward now. <laughs> you should have thought about all this stuff before you organized this. No, oh, don't kill me, please. I will kill okay, you. No, no. Shoot that piece of No! 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 <laughs> Holy crap, how the tables have turned. Frank really thought he had all the power for a while. Tony rose up quicker than he could have expected. Don't go too far, Tony. I ain't not, man. You are. Ah! Ah! Can't shoot up. 
cop. Whoever said you was one. <laughs> Great line right there. He's getting the worst of it too because he's letting him suffer first. Maybe you can handle yourself one of them first class tickets to the resurrection. So long, man. Have a good trip. Oh my dude, Tony is intimidating. Had a couple of boss lines in there though. Oh, dang, dude, he is moving fast. That's kind of scary because it doesn't feel like he's doing that because he cares about her. I mean, he does, but he's not giving her any sort of choice. Oh, I guess also he could be doing it because if Frank's dead, maybe people will go for her because she's not protected anymore. I don't know. Oh man, great cinematography and music right here. Certainly seems that way for Tony. He's taking control of everything. <laughs> Wait, this music is not what I thought was gonna play for a sequence like this. Business is freaking good for these guys though. He did not realize what he was signing up for when he agreed to do business with Tony. They're not being inconspicuous at all, just lugging that all in. Dude's getting everything he's ever wanted in life. I feel like this is his biggest accomplishment though. No way, bro, he actually got tigers. Are you serious? This man is on another level to have that as a pet. I can't even take any more of your money unless I raise the rates on you. Jerry, let's talk. Talk to me, man. Talk. Come on. I go low, you go high. Look, I know the game. Dude is at the top, top, man. Holy cow. This room, for one, his whole house is extravagant, but the fact that a bank can't even take more of his money, man, must have so much. That prick talking to me like I, I somebody can't come over on a boat. <laughs> We should talk to this Jewish guy, Sarobon. He's breaking rule number two, man, trying his own product. Well, I don't know if it's specifically his own, but it is a product. A cable truck, man. Since when does it take three days to wig a cable? What, you been watching it for three days? I think it's been there for three days. What am I gonna do, now look at it? Oh gosh, something going down right now. That is pretty suspicious. When you're in that position, you'd probably never feel super secure, always paranoid. Why don't you get a job or something? Anything beats lying around all day waiting for me to You're not that good. Where'd you go? Come here! I was kidding! <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, he is wired right now. I feel like Manny's the only one he's not regularly yelling at right now. Where you going? I got a date. You said about it. Stay out of it. I think of it. It's my deal. I set it up. You're not a negotiator. I'm your partner, okay? Join your partner. Never mind, immediately after I say that, he and Manny start getting into an argument. Manny said he was going on a date. I have a feeling it's gonna be with Tony's sister. Come here, give me a kiss. Come here, hey, hey. Who put this thing together? Me! Who do I trust? Me! Man, I love this shot right here, so good. Just showing how alone he is in this giant room and the giant tub. Pushed everybody away in order to get to the top. I want you to meet some of my friends. This is Pedro Quinn, chairman of the Andy Sugar Corporation. General Edward Strasser, commander of the First Army Corps. At least he's still friends with Sosa, although I don't even know who's higher up at this point. You have a problem, Tony. Now, we all know that you have some tax troubles in your country and that you may have to do a little time. But we have some friends in Washington that assure us these troubles can be taken care of. It's so hard to trust anybody at this point because now I'm starting to get paranoid like Tony's been that everybody's out to get him or everybody's a snake. Alejandro Sosa, a very interesting character. This man is the business brain and drug overlord of an empire that stretches across the Andes. Oh, geez, they have him pinned. It's probably not too difficult to figure that out based off the way he lives. He's not gonna ask Tony to take him out, is he? That is our problem. You remember Alberto, don't you? How could I forget him? Alberto is an expert in the disposal business. <laughs> Oh, yikes, man. That's definitely one way to call it. Hector's still doing shady things even in this universe. He needs a little help. 
Is that a problem, Tony? A problem. Good. Man, it's crazy that after everything he's been through, he's gone all the way back to being ordered to help kill somebody. That was the very first job he did here. What are you, you fool? What's wrong with you? I'm not hungry. You even know that Jeff Hill said he can get you a post Eh? Dude's got that Joey Diaz look right there. <laughs> Don't eat nothing. I can't even have a kill with her, man. Her womb is so polluted. Yeah, I'm not even gonna listen to that. Oh my gosh, dude, they're just gonna keep rising and rising until everyone in the restaurant's gonna be listening to him. You do drugs and you kill people? Oh, that's wonderful, Tony. What kind of a father do you think you are? Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude, he exploded right there. This is so tense. I'm leaving you. Okay, I'll walk you out. Let her go, let her go. Another quite loot, you're gonna love me again. Oh, dude, Tony is struggling right now. He did so much work to finally get married to Elvira, only to lose her. You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me so you can point your fingers and say, that's the bad guy. Man, this is a great scene right here. I love this dialogue and the camera work. So say goodnight to the bad guy. Come on, the last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, man, such a great scene, dude, love it. Everyone in the restaurant's so stunned. He spent a lot of time trying to avoid being viewed as the bad guy at the beginning of the film, only to embrace it here in that scene. Okay, here he goes. Where's it going? What's he doing that way? <laughs> Dude, I love this camera angle shot from inside of the car. It's perfect, making it way more suspenseful. Oh, shoot, bro. There's no way you can kill him like that. You don't want to just kill an innocent wife and kids. Matamos a tipo solo. Si Sosa dice que lo hagamos ahora, lo hacemos ahora. Vamos. Oh gosh, dude, this is gonna be brutal if they actually blow everybody up. If you don't do it, what is Sosa gonna do to you? I have the guts to look him in the eye when you kill him. <laughs> May you feel good to kill a mother and a kiss, huh? May you feel big. <laughs> is he gonna manage to talk him out of it before he does it? He seems pretty committed to me. You die, mother! <laughs> what you think I am, huh? What you think I am? Like you? Whoa, bro, Tony went way off script, dude, what? Dang, bro, that was crazy. I didn't expect him to just straight up shoot him. What a scene right there. That was so well filmed. Bro, this house is unreal. I don't even think it can call it a house at this point. This is a freaking museum entrance. Tony, what happened? We had a little problem. My partners and I are pissed off, Tony. What's up, guy? No big deal. We do it next month. No, Tony, you can't do that. Uh, he thinks he's at the top of the world right now. No consequences. His last friend, I guess you could call him a friend in power, and now he's broken his relationship there. She goes to this fancy house in Coconut Grove. Would you get that kind of money? You! You are giving her the money. What's the guy with her? I don't know. I love that even in this house, the thing that he's sitting on is the color red as well, just like his house. Maybe it's to show that he infects everything he touches. <laughs> what? Were they expecting him somehow? Why else would they open the door like that for him? I'm worried it's gonna be Manny. Done. Oh no, bro, and the music comes back. He's not gonna kill Manny, is he? Bro, he has lost it. Are you kidding me? Just like that, no questions asked. We got married just yesterday. We were gonna surprise you. Tony, we gotta get out of here, man. Oh my gosh, dude, that's heartbreaking. I feel so bad for him. They thought he'd be happy for him. Why? Come on, dude, no.
Dang, Tony's turned into a freaking monster. It looks like it may be hitting him a bit there, realizing what he did, just in a fit of rage. Oh gosh, they're gonna do an attack right now! The chaos doesn't stop. I don't recognize who is running up there. <laughs> the filmmaking is great right now, even though it's hard to watch. The movie is a great character study of this man though, just seeing him fall, rise and fall. Can't forget about the beginning. Let's go. <laughs> oh gosh, dude, he has lost it. I think those guys realize there's nothing they can do for him at this point. Tony. Oh gosh, are they both gonna die right here? We don't need her to die as well after just losing Manny. You can't stand for another man to be touching me. So you want me, Tony, huh? Here I am, Tony. Oh gosh, bro, she startled me. I can understand why she wants to come for him, though, after what he did. Oh no, bro, she did die from him. What timing, dude. Tony's gonna be freaking pissed now. Perfect that that sign down there says world is yours as the world's fallen in on him. It's a false promise. Do you wanna play rough? Okay. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> uh, there it is, the iconic line. Let's go. Mess those guys up. Do you want more? Dang, maybe Tony can hold his own. Holy crap, that gun is an absolute beast. Uh, couldn't get very far without taking a hit of his own, though. I don't know how lethal of a shot it was. Jeez, dude, that guy's coming in like the Grim Reaper, what? Love that shot from behind him, though, with all the smoke there. Gosh, bro, what a death, man. It took so much to kill him, though. And ironic, he falls right in front of the world is yours sign. Dang, dude, is that really where it ends? Shoot, right at his death, man, that's crazy. Al Pacino went fully into that role, though, man. He was going all out, especially at the end. Looking back at the beginning of the film and where he started, it is kind of amazing what they accomplished with that character, starting from nothing and then ending at what he thought was the top of the world. And I'm going to assume that it's based off a real person because once we got into it and I heard his name is Tony Montana, Montana. I feel like I have heard that name a couple times in the past. A few moments later. Oh, okay, there you go. Fictional right there. <laughs> but can't imagine it's too far off the truth of what some people experienced, which is quite a wild life. Big man, you wanna make some big bugs?